Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Stockport. Today it is the FA Cup Final, the first one we've ever been in. We've been to a League Cup Final, in fact we've been to, or are going to be to anyway, all of the major trophy finals uh, in this save I think, because we won the Checker Trade Trophy if I recall, um, with our under 23s, I'm counting it. We won the FA Trophy I think earlier in this save, although for some reason I can't even remember doing that. We won the Europa League, we went to the League Cup Final, we lost, fair enough. Um, we're in the FA Cup Final today and of course tomorrow, um, in a week, two weeks time in game time, we have the Champions League Final. Uh, it's a shame we couldn't have, I wish we'd won the League Cup now because we would hopefully be able to complete the full set if we could win today and next time. That would be pretty damn awesome. But today it's all about this, Manchester United. We, I think we've got their number at the moment. I was really worried when we went into that Champions League tie, but that that game in the league when I sort of figured out an option against them I think that's really their Achilles here I kind of wish we were playing them in the Champions League final as well to be honest maybe Barcelona will play the same way only applicable if Polonia Warsaw is chosen as the next save well I checked earlier because I sent it out to patrons first the uh poll and it's not gone out to the main feed yet um but when I checked earlier it was neck and neck literally dead heat so I'll be very interested to see what happens when it's put out to the general um audience this is going to be very very interesting I think it's going to be crazy tight but anyway upon arrival at their new Warsaw town old town apartment newlyweds Bruno Bridges and Regan Booty looked out into the the Vistula River what made you choose pol polio Warsaw Bruno asked Regan finally deciding to ask why they'd been moved to Poland having previously been given it no thought or care it's Polonia Regan Bruno sternly replied before dunking a chocolate and cheese biscuit designed by the much maligned ex-footballer and now despised biscuit magnate jason banton i mean i'm enjoying this fan fiction that that is for sure i want to hear more of that if we do move to poland uh, and particularly as bruno at the moment is leading the poll for manager with like 44 percent of the vote it's basically a landslide at this point it's nice to see the likes of guard dog getting so many votes though fair play I'm, I'm, people are a fan of the guard dog but it does look as though bruno is going to be managing the team in the next save no matter what happens when did we do slavi danchev seems almost fitting for an eastern european save well slavi danchev i think uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty certain he was actually the Wimbledon manager of all things. Uh, for a player like that to be a manager in such a save, but I'm pretty certain he was the manager of the Wimbledon save. Wonder if you finish this save, you can go 10 years into the future to see how Stockport fared after the retirement of their legendary manager. Oh, don't worry, we will be. Um, we do, I don't know if you, people that are new to the channel, after I do a save, I do a looking forward video where I will sim in like five year chunks, 20, I think, or 25 years into the future. And then I do like a, a marathon hour plus video where we go through and look at every single possible facet of things that have changed what happened all this stuff of individual players everything um so that's what i plan to do when we finish this save at some point basically yeah, don't worry it will happen it will just uh yeah <laughs> right so we have one game off camera and we're back today for the fa cup final let's talk about the southampton game and also talk about the final league table and stuff because we've got some awards and shit so we did manage to get a win over the line on the final day to finish on 87 points we took the lead through john veer we had a really good performance on the night in terms of the play we were just very fortunate very unfortunate not to win by more i did start bruno bridges for this game to sort of give him a bit of an, another runner i always gonna try to guarantee him a premier league appearance at some point so we got a start today because why the hell not not the best day for him in all honesty took the lead through john veer ball whipped in by russell eels he got across to the front post and made it one nil which was good unfortunately in the second half declan rice scored from a corner for southampton to level things up and i thought they were going to get away with it until we won a penalty in the 89th minute so i gave it to bruno bridges i thought brilliant he can wrap up a win for us and seal this up no unfortunately he missed and that's the first time he's ever missed a pen for us it would have been nice to see him get another goal for the club but it wasn't to be thankfully though bednar on the left whipped it across and there was russell eels who was fantastic got a goal and an assist on the night to uh, win us the game he's actually had a really good season for us in the end russell eels he had a bit of a slow start but he's really picked it up towards the end not quite putting up the abba solo numbers but he did enough to win players young player of the year and that to me says a lot about this guy uh, going forward and i think he'd be a lot better in the future and hopefully next year he'll be fantastic and the league eventually finished off like this. We won the league by five points over Manchester City. Everton eventually slumping into third place. They did lose to Chelsea on the final day of the season. It was a tough one for them. Uh, it was always going to be difficult because City, I think, were playing against Newcastle. No, they were playing against Wolves. So it was going to be very difficult for Everton to actually get second. But for the fact is, for Everton to come third this year is a truly awesome achievement. So that's how it finished. Camille Bednar, best average rating in the league by an absolute country mass. 7.61 is astonishing. So you'd think, oh mate, you must have won player of the year. No, he didn't win player of the year. Of course not. Why would he win player of the year? He only he was only the best player in the league. No, Jamie Lane won player, player of the year and footballer of the year, despite finishing with a, like, a considerably lower average rating. So I, I don't know why that happened. And, and then the thing that's annoyed me more is the fact that team of the season, Nagoita, goalkeeper, we had Slawi, Staiku, which is great, Eels, Via in the team of the season with Jamie Lane. Camille Bednar, not in the team of the season. How can he not be in the team of the season? He he has the best average rating of any player in the entire division. And somehow he wasn't even in the team of the season. 
mental. How are they calculating this? But regardless, we must move on to today. Another cup final. Can we add another trophy to the bank? Uh, the bank, which has what? A couple of, well, we've got a couple of league titles, some division titles. It's all looking good. Everybody's relatively fresh though, which is really, really nice. Um, Carrius will come back in. So Via, Eels, Lane, not David Mello. I love him. I do. But Staiku, he just performs better. Bofa, Bednar, Roussel, Guard Dog, Carrius, and Negoita. Lovely. On the bench, Martial, Vigo, Middledorp, Wright, Meyer. Meyer is back. Nearly, nearly back. He'll be back for the Champions League final, which is sensational. David Mello and Greg Stubbs. It's good to have the defenders back and also gaining match fitness. I think that's going to really, really help us today. Guard Dog was sensational against United uh, in the game at Old Trafford. So, yeah, let's have a look at them. Yeah, they're basically doing the same thing as always. Um, <laughs> we'll put this one back on again because Southampton didn't play an inside forward on that role. Uh, so, Coyle is their man to go after, or was he? Yep, yes, he was. Okay, so we'll go after him, Perez, and Carrillo. Car 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 and that is that, really. That is that. Let let's get into this. Only nine degrees in the drizzle here in London. Oh, coming out the tunnel, looking resplendent. Huge fan of that. You know what? I've decided. We're going to do the ch the FA Cup final on 3D highlights. I just want to see what it looks like. Doesn't appear as though I can. I'm putting it on TV mode, though, because I feel that's the best bet for us here. Um, oh, dear. This is very, very strange to me. I might just zoom in a bit. Okay, now we're ready to go. Um, this is very strange for me, as you can probably imagine. I'm going to do my best to sort of analyze as we go. Villas won the ball high up the pitch. He's going to dribble through. He's got Russell Eels coming on the right-hand side. He's going to take a touch and get the shot away, maybe. Goes too wide. Oh, great save from Cabrera there. Russell Eels testing the goalkeeper early on in the FA Cup final. Lovely old job. So I really do need to see those stats. We started off very, very strongly. Oh, terrible header away from Bednar. Uh-oh, get out to him. Don't let him get the cross in. He's, he's let him in. What a tackle from Elcho. But what? How is that a penalty? Normally, I can't see these things. So I just accept it. But it looked like he just slid in and took the ball. Johan Moll for Manchester United. And they lead. Manchester United lead in the FA Cup final. They've had one shot in the opening nine minutes here. And it's Johan Moll's put them in front. I mean, how is that a penalty? I, I don't get it. Can we get an immediate equaliser? Via back to Bednar. Can he whip one across? Goes short for Jamie Lane. He's got a chance. And it's somehow saved. Cabrera with the stop. And we've started really strongly, but we, we are trailing. What They want us to play more direct. Kind of like... Oh, Slowey's all the way through. Great save from Cabrera there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what we did in that league game. This is the These are the changes I made. Attacking more direct and hit early crosses. This is what worked for us in the league match. We've got to try something now. Um, we've been vastly the better team. Matos again. Oh, nice little turn from him. We just need to win the ball off them. We might be able to get a breakaway. Possession is certainly swinging back their way at the moment. Coy, well, we might keep that in. Block the cross, guys. Oh, whoa. Nagoya makes a stop. That's another header. Hmm. They've already got three bookings. Rochich. Indirect free kick now for Manchester United. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. The two goals we've conceded. The penalty... And now this, an indirect free kick. It's, it's sort of classic Stockport, really, isn't it? Rochich's ball in. He gets away. Great save from Negoita. And he's able to run into the rebound. It's 2-0 in the final now. I just don't see us. I can't believe this. I'm actually going to go back to what we were doing before. It looked like it was working. Steku. Got to look, look, look wide. Via. Slips it through for Russell Eels. Drills it wide of the goal. Another chance, though. Lane's free kick, perhaps. Oh, what a save. Guard dog, and it's in. Nikolai Uvagor Sunagor gets the goal to get us back into this match. And I think we've deserved that. Uh, we really, really have deserved that goal. We've got a lot of work to do. Lane, it's a wonderful strike from his free kick. Goalkeeper can't keep it out. And actually, to get on the end of a free kick, we've now scored a free kick, sort of. And it's Nick, it's the guard dog with a goal of all things. Lovely. Here we go again. Better enough. If we can get level by half time, there might still be hope for us. Roussel. Steak who picks it up. He could go. Oh, what a save from Cabrera. Can he knock it back inside, maybe? No, he can't. Oh, my goodness me. I am amazed that they're winning this match, but we definitely look like we're on top at the moment, and that's fine. We need to really push, though. Perez, somebody getting a tackle, potentially. Oh, my God, Matos is in. He's got to square it, surely. Well saved by Nagoita. He's doing a job. Coil. Oh, there's a lot of space out wide for Matos here. Get out to him. Oh, he's got all the way through. Oh, my Lord. How are we 3-1 down here? We just... This is just not happening for us today, is it? Just... They're just getting the chances... And I know they've got three clock, three click out chances, but one was the penalty and one was the free kick and then the rebound from that same free kick. But we just left him completely open here. Once he gets ahead of speed, he's just able to drift inside and just thump it. Nagoita doesn't do a good job there, but now we're 3-1 down in the FA Cup final. This is piss poor. Well, out wide. And he's going to keep that in amazingly. Get out and make a block, lads. There we go. That's, that's fun. I'm in a state of complete confusion. It's 4-1 to Manchester United. Somehow. Um... That's what happens when you don't take your chances. But what on earth is going on today? Just every chance they get is just goal. Carrillo, ball in. 
Mole is completely... I don't know what Nagoya is doing there. He's just come out for no apparent reason. I'm going to throw on very attacking. We might as well at this point. I'm completely baffled by this first half. Yeah, I, I don't really know what's happened in that first half. Um, it's not like we're shooting from range that often, are we? No. Nope. Well, two shots from range out of 15. We're just going to go and try and play better in the second half, to be honest. Like, on tactically, we look fine. This is no worse or better than we played against them, really, in any other game. It's just they've scored the goals when they've got the chances, or even when they haven't. I don't even care right now. We're making some early subs. I'm going to get Vigo and Bednar. Oh, we don't have Dimitri on the bench. Good grief. I'm going to get Russell. Oh, we don't have Abasolo either. Make one sub now to get Vigo on, just for the crossing ability, if, I, if nothing else. Via. Takes it short for Slowey. Ball in. Russell Eels! I'm losing the will to live here. There we go. Bednar's in behind. Can he find a good cross? You know he's got one in him. Ball across. Headed away. And Russell Eels is at the back post. It's 4-2 in the FA Cup final. Russell Eels with another goal. I don't know how we found ourselves in this position, but we're here and we need to keep pushing. Finishes Junior. Great tackle. Wonderful tackle. Guard dog bringing it away. Russell Eels now. That's it. Oh, he's just got that burst of pace. Looking over the top. Via's in. One touch. Can he finish? Yes, he can. It's 4-3. And we've scored two goals in two minutes. John Veer's 19th of the season. Manchester United have mucked it up royally there. Is there still hope for us yet in this match? This is insanity. Look at this from Russell Eels. He gets the ball and just has this burst of pace to go past two people. It's not the best ball, really. Uh, the, the defender makes an absolute meal of this. And Veer's in again. 4-3. God, we have some entertaining games against Manchester United, don't we? 27 minutes left. Come on. Manchester United have six yellow cards, by the way. Jamie Lane. Oh, it's in. It's 4-4. Jesus Christ. Jamie lane we've scored three goals in six minutes and it is now four all in the fa cup final. i'm just turning it off of very attacking now and down to attacking this is insanity four all what a strike from jamie lane this is goalkeeper's going nowhere near oh and he actually does get a touch on it it's four all in the fa cup final we're making a change and they so are they right i'm bringing on david mello for Liv Steiku because he's been a bit poor today my other change might well be eltro bofa off i would normally put kevin Wright on in this situation but it's cup final and it's Greg Stubbs. So, you know. Manchester United, I don't think they've had a single shot in the second half. No, they haven't. We've had 11. Um, imagine if they score with their only so shot of the second half. Great block. That should probably do it and take us to extra time. Good God. Matos is balling. Do not concede from a corner like we did against Southampton. They've had six yellow cards and we've had four. Ten yellows in an FA Cup final. What a match this has been. Johan Moll's hat-trick. Goals from Guard Dog, Russell Eels, John Veer and Jamie Lane. Maybe we should have left it on very attacking, but I just didn't want to run the risk, you know? We've still been solid after that. I feel like this game is ours to win. All the momentum is with us right now. They've thrown away a three-goal lead against us in eight minutes or six minutes or whatever it was. This is ours to win. We just need to go and take it, you know? He's not got any... Oh, now he's got a bit of space. Doyle, watch out. Oh, no, it's Deli Alley, rather. Don't let him slip that through. Don't let him slip that through. Johan Mol, no! Saved by Nagoita. Good stuff. So, nothing really happened in that, and I am tempted, in all honesty... I am tempted to push it back to very attacking. We will look so good when we were on that mode with the hitting early crosses. I think we need to go back to that, frankly, because I just don't trust us in penalties, to be honest. Screw it. We're doing it. We're knackered. They're knackered. Everybody's knackered. Jose Maurizio, don't let him get that shot in. Please don't let him get that shot in. Oh, Nagoita bails us out there, and United are starting to find a bit more uh, energy again now. Vigo. Greg Stubbs. He's got men inside, and he's actually gone all the way out wide for Jamie Lane. Use the wide. Use the width. Bednar, we need a good cross now, Camille. Ball across. Saved by Cabrera. It looks like we're going to penalties, lads. We've got 40 seconds left in the FA Cup final. It's Roussel at the back post. Can he find a good cross? Please. Ball in. Cleared away. Slowey. Put it out wide for the cross. Vigo. We need the cross. Please cross the ball. Guard dog. Mello. Why are we not crossing the ball? Vigo. Everybody's up there. Ball across. Mello. Oh, and that's going to be it. Oh, why didn't they put the ball in the box? Hit early crosses. Right. Um, We're going to auto pick. I'm going to put Jamie Lane... I'm going to put him down there. I just, like you said, like I've said before, I just don't trust him with penalties, given his record for us. Right, so it's down to penalties in the FA Cup final. What a job we've done coming back from 4-1 down, but could have been so much better for us. Johan Moll scores his second penalty of the game, practically. Well, it is his second penalty of the game and gives us the lead. Elcho Bofa, dead on his feet, steps in there, and it's a comfortable finish for him, and it's one all in the shootout. There's fans behind the goal. We're in front of our, our fans, at least. Deli Alley for Manchester United. And it's smashed down the middle, and our fans are dead silent. Morgan Roussel, Stockport legend, frankly, these days. Can he do it in the cup final? Takes one step up, and it's a really bad penalty, and it looks like we're probably going to be losing the cup final, in all honesty. Um, Jose Maurizio now for Manchester United. If he scores this, I think it's probably about done, and he's put it in the back of the net. It's 3-1, and we're going to lose. I don't believe it. We did so well to come back, and now we're going to lose on pens in the end. 
<sighs> and we shouldn't have been 4-1 down in the first place. Mellow's penalty and that's it. Uh, is that it? It's basically it, isn't it? Manchester United score this, they win the pens. Rojas to win the FA Cup for Manchester United and he does. <sighs> I can't help but feel a little bit sour about that. I don't think we deserve to be on the end of a result like that, particularly not with the... But just, things just did not go our way in this game, unfortunately. And we've lost the FA Cup final 4-4 and then 4-1 on pens. Maybe Jamie Lane should have taken one, but then Sod's Law. I don't know. I feel we can feel really hard done by in that game, but there you go. Well, we couldn't make it a domestic double in the end, but what a comeback that was to score those three goals in six minutes against him, just like we did in the league. And then just to have... I mean, I know I put it back to attacking, but I don't know. It just seemed to go completely off the boil. And the fact that we were 4-1 down in this game is crazy to begin with. And on another day, we win this one probably fairly comfortably. But you, should be, you shouldn't be losing a, uh, losing a game in which you score four goals in, really. So, next episode, Champions League final. And the fact is, if we lose it, we'll get another crack at the FA Cup next year anyway. So it's not too much of a, a hassle for us. I feel like we're definitely strong enough to do that next season. I think next year we should be really good domestically. Um, because we, we've just been, we've been pretty solid. As much as the league came back a bit, uh, in the end, we managed to win it by five points. Because, you know, it ebbs and flows depending on who you're playing. We did have some poor runs at times. But overall, we were very, very good. And I noticed when I was looking at stuff, we had six consecutive home matches. Five of which were in the league. Such was the amount of games that we had rearranged. And I think that's probably why we started losing ground. Because we got a lot of away games in a row at one point, And it started to cost us a little bit. There was an away game here. Away game here. Uh, we did lose at home there, to be fair. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, just for the quality of the match in general, drop a like on the video. That would be sensational. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, hopefully where we win instead of lose. That would be awesome as well. And I will join you guys in the next episode for the Champions League final. It could potentially be the last episode of the series, or it could be the beginning of another season of us really just concentrating every egg in the uh, Champions League basket of possibles. That doesn't even make any sense. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.